Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. Life, laughter, lockdown. You know, we're all on a lockdown at the moment. We have to keep our backsides quiet at home. So I thought that it would be helpful for me to walk this journey with you as I am also on a lockdown. Unfortunately, I don't get any special treatment. So guys, when you are ready to jump on here, let's get this conversation started. Um, let me see what time is it. I'm going to have to rely on you guys to... Um, I'm going to have to rely on you guys to help me keep time because I don't have my faithful assistant. Yes. Hi, Philip. Bring your friends along. Hello, Nicola. Thank you for joining. At least you guys are a lot quicker than the other lot. Um, thank you for the, for the hearts and the thumbs up. So let me know if everybody can hear me OK, because we are going to have a very, very serious conversation today. Um, I'm going to go in a, a little deep. I think it's really important. So do jump on here and um, let us have this conversation. So today is the sixth edition or the sixth episode of Life, Laughter and Lockdown. And for those that don't know, this was put together when I realised or I found out that I couldn't go back to England um, because the borders were closed in Ghana. So this is where I am at the moment. And I thought rather than sit in the house and be moping and worrying and stressing, Let's walk this journey together and see how best we can support one another. Thank you, Nicola. Let's see how best we can support one another. So I came up with Life, Laughter and Lockdown so that we can share certain things that are bothering us during this period. So we have covered fear. We've covered creating space. We've covered life. We have covered, oh, where's my faithful assistant? We've covered beauty. We, hi, patients. Thanks for joining. We had, thanks, Jay. Hi, Jay. How are you doing? Um, we have covered, do, 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 did I create space for yeah, beauty? Oh, you guys would have to remind me. We've covered a lot, put it that way. This is the sixth one, and today's one is about focus. Um, and I think it is a very important conversation to have for obvious reasons. And, you know, as I said, uh, guys, do share this video so that other people can also have the benefit of what we're going to be talking about, because we are all in this together. And uh, hi, Cheryl, thanks for jumping on here. And I think it's important that we are able to support one another. So if we're all kind of on the same page, I think it would be helpful for us, I think it's a bit better, uh, to be able to do that. So why focus? So today, the reason why I have decided to talk about focus is because it's important. And it is important because when we are not focused, i.e., concentrated on a particular thing for a particular purpose to take us to a particular end other things when they come into the equation switches our focus when our focus is switched or when we don't understand our purpose that's when worry lack of faith comes into it guys i'm gonna have to rely on you a bit today because my faithful assistant is not here so I will need you guys to keep time. So I would say if you could time me 15 minutes from now, whoever is going to be on this broadcast uh, to the end, and I know some of you for obvious reasons have to dip in and out, do uh, let me know whether I am keeping to time. And don't make me keep going on just because you're enjoying the broadcast. That's, that's bad. So yes, um, focus. It, it is important because it keeps us focused. It keeps our eye on the ball. Now, why is it so important? Now, in the times that we are in right now, where people are worrying, they are stressed, um, it is difficult to keep that focus because there are so many different things. Hi, Emissy. There's so many different things that are taking our attention. We are having a lot of things thrown at us to divert our attention. So attention is synonymous, in this case, I would say, with focus. So things are coming in to divert our attention but what we are replacing when our attention has been diverted is the issue. And that is what is leading people to be stressed and to be worried and to be all over the place. So why is focus so important? Well, I've mentioned a couple of reasons why it's so important. But I always like to use myself as an example. Why is focus important for me? Now, focus is important for me because there are so many things that can grab my attention. And I don't know if you, some of you were on the other broadcast that I did where I spoke about what we call legitimate curveballs. So something that can take you off course 
that is legitimate, that is reasonable. Hi, Aisha, thanks for joining. That any reasonable person when hearing would understand why you have not been able to meet a goal or to achieve. So for example, I lost my husband last year. I feel that it was a legitimate curveball such that if I said, look, I've not been able to do X, Y or Z because I was bereaved, nobody would say, well, that's not good enough. So I would have been able to hold on to that in order to uh, be a good reason or excuse not to do other things in my life. So thank you, uh, is it Mukwadam and Francis? Thank you for joining. Uh, France, Francis says, and as I said, you've got to bear with me. Um, hello, Julius, loving the topics, all relevant to our present times, Frankie. Thank you very much. And I'm glad that you're finding it helpful because as I said, I kind of take the content from the conversations that I'm having with people and conversations that I'm you know, seeing other people have amongst themselves. So I was talking about focus um, and that there's legitimate things that can take your focus, but it's important that you get back on track quickly because if you slip for too long, it is harder to readjust your focus. So again, as I, I will use myself as an example. So a few months ago, or actually tell a lie, about a year ago, I started to get some very, very nasty messages from this anonymous person. And they were stalking me on my Instagram. Hi, mommy, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, they were stalking me on my fan page. They would never go on my personal page, on my fan page. Um, they would send inbox messages on Facebook. They would send messages on Instagram. In fact, even the day of my husband's burial, they put some very nasty and disparaging and defamatory and slanderous um, comments on my Instagram. Now, this has been going on for a year. However, everything that happens to you in life is a choice. No matter what it is, no matter how difficult, no matter how bitter, no matter how bad, you have a choice as to how how much power you give that thing. So for me, even though, you know, and I, it's, it's on my, my pages, uh, so you, sorry, on my page and my uh, fan page and personal page, so you'll, you'll see the post that I put up late last night. Even though some of those comments probably to an average person would have been very wounding, I didn't take it that way. So some of the comments were, I'm glad your husband's dead because your children now don't have a father. Um, the message that I saw yesterday, one of the messages, because there were a couple, was, um, you're lying, your husband is not the father of your children. Now, yes, it's shocking, but because I am focused, that's not going to take me off course. And that's my choice as to how much power I will allow those comments to have. So... I would have a choice to say, right, how could anybody say such a thing? I am so upset, so I may start crying, or I may start feeling bad about myself, but it's also about perspective. So I looked at this very sad and pathetic human being, and I thought, this has been going on for a year. You must be pretty either very sad, extremely obsessed, consumed with jealousy and envy that you would actually find the time to consistently and purposely send such messages hoping that you would get a response but unfortunately I make that choice of what I will allow to shift my focus so my question to you is hi, hi Bankale my question to you is what do you allow to shift your focus? Because it is a choice. We're in a very high Anita. We are in some very perilous times, if, that's, um, if I can use that word. And things are uncertain. But if you focus your mind on whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are good, you will be able to keep your attention on the right things. 
it is very easy. And I think when, again, when I did the very first uh, Life Laughter and Lockdown episode on fear, I was talking about the things we allow to enter into, into uh, in through our eye gate and our, our ears. What do we what do we read? What do we look at? What do we listen to? The words that are spoken, what do we allow ourselves to hear? What do we say from our own lips to ourselves? And if we don't pay attention to those things, our focus can be shifted very, very easily. So I would like to ask you guys, what are some of the things, because what's important is if you're able to identify some of the things that can shift your focus when they pop up, you'll be able to deal with it. So I'll give you another example. I was somebody that absolutely feared not being able to pay bills. I mean, I literally, it would keep me up at night. But the moment I stopped worrying and saying, what is, sorry, I've got a really bad pain in my neck. What's the absolute worst that could happen? And I embraced the worst that could happen, my focus shifted. I wasn't just thinking, what if I can't pay this bill? What if this happens? What if I lose my contract? What if this, what if that? I stopped and I pulled back. So I was able to remain focused so that my energy was not spent on something that might happen. So as I said, my faithful assistant Yabe is not here today. So um, what are you guys saying? Any comments from you? Or if you want me to carry on because you don't have any comments, give me a thumbs up. If you're liking what you're hearing right now and it's making sense to you, give me some encouragement and let me know whether I am on the right track. I got a love from... Oh, I can't see. I think Michelle. Okay, guys, I think Aisha. Come on, guys, what are you saying? Do you agree with what I am saying right now? Thank you, Anita. And share some of your experiences of what sometimes makes you you know shift your focus because it, it is important thank you Aisha I shall keep going you know so it, it, it's it's so important that we identify what makes us tick and what our triggers are um patient says enjoying what I'm hearing thank you and um please forgive me if I don't pronounce your name properly Mukadam says this is awesome thank you thank you Kingsley for joining so in terms of focus look at what your triggers are if you know that listening to somebody let's say for example you've got a business idea and you want to I don't know you want to start selling real estate and you know that you have got some nice quirky little some things up your sleeve that you know that you can make a go of it. You have got to be very, very careful who you share your dream and your vision with. Because you will have people that will say, oh, this is great. You know, actually, yeah, the economy might not look, the economy might not look too great right now, but it's possible that the property prices are going to really drop because of what's going on. So if you have that large, you know, injection of cash, it would be a good time to buy. If you're looking at having, you know, a long term plan, this would be a good time to invest. And you will have another person that will say, oh, I wouldn't advise you to do it right now. It's definitely going to fail. I mean, do you know, the number of people that are losing their homes and they cannot pay their mortgage, you know, people are being given a, a three month, you know, mortgage break. But, you know, after the three months, what's going to happen? Everybody's jobs are up in the air. And, you know, for, if, you, if you do it right now, you're going to lose so much money. Now, you have a choice on who you listen to. And I am not saying do not listen to wise counsel. But there is a way in which you communicate with somebody to convey what it is that you want to convey that becomes either empowering or disempowering. That becomes either encouraging or discouraging. Yeah? Yeah. So, Yemisi is saying we're in a very fluid situation. Bad things are going on all around us, but we have a choice as to how we react to our triggers, 100%. I mean, I was with Yemisi yesterday when that message came through uh, on my fan page where this person had once again made some very nasty comments, but um, I wasn't moved. What in fact happened was I found out exactly who it was. And that history goes back... Um, I believe, since 2012. So if they're watching from another fake account, just understand that I, I know who you are. 
and I'm and again I feel that you have to stay in control so that you maintain your power. It's very, very important not to give your power away because when you give your power away, you're obviously powerless. And when you're powerless, it means that the other elements have the opportunity to overtake you and overcome you. So keeping your focus and keeping your mind strong is extremely important because there is always a legitimate curveball that can be thrown your way to take you off track. So let me just see... Nicola says, what you focus on, expand. Very true. Anita says, I've learned not to worry about anything now. I literally just cast all my cares on the Lord. Just as you mentioned, I'm cautious who I share things with, uh, who I share things with too. I'm allergic to negative people. Oh my gosh, you just kind of like, oh, thank you, Nicola. I've got five minutes. Oh, you're a darling. Thank you so much. Hi, Ali. So yes, I'm, I'm the same. I'm very careful who I have in my circle, people that can keep me encouraged, but grounded. Very important. So uh, Aisha says, when I eliminate, eliminate distractions and take regular breaks, exactly, find something that works for you, that allows you to remain here. So important. I think it's also important to assess your situation, revisit it, and, you know, have like a like a little self check and see this method of me doing x y or z is it working for me or is there another way that i could approach this or have i found other worries to add to this 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 trigger so i think it's important that we are continually you know assessing and reassessing where we are continually assessing and reassessing our confessions and and what we're saying as well as the people that we have around us in in our camp so Aisha, okay, I've read your comment. Um, Ifwa says, encouraged and grounded. Thanks, that's, that's, that's excellent. Guys, can you share this video for me, please? Which would be a little arrow thing. And also, if you want to get the notifications when I'm online, hi, Jackie Roxon. Um, you just need to press the bell thing so that you get the notifications. Uh, Nicola says, this is a great time to reassess. It, it, you know what it really is? Because what we have... What we've been given, whether it's been, um, whether it's a gift or whether it's a curse, however you, which way you want to look at it, we've been given time. So it's important that we make very, very good use of the time that we have been given. There are so many opportunities to look at the different areas of our lives. Hi, Adele. Um, and on that basis, start to readjust things that may need readjusting. Anita says analysis and honesty are key you forever assess. It's very true. I'm, I'm always assessing. And again, I th what I think would be a good uh, part of this process is checking your motives as well. Why you want to do things, why you're focused on something, you know, and without being overtly spiritual here, it's also about assessing, you know, the timing of things, the times and seasons, understanding, you know, is this my time to be focusing on this? Because if it's not, that's when frustration sets in. And I think that the key thing that we need to be mindful of is that we're focusing on the right things, that we're preparing ourselves to keep our focus, that we are understanding the purpose attached to that focus and the people around us who can help us achieve that purpose. I think it's very important. I am very sure that my five minutes is up. Nicola, I can only rely on you because everybody else was, was feeding me to the time dog. I think my time is up. That went really, really quickly today, I must say. Or maybe it's because I've um, done most of the talking and I don't have my faithful assistant here. So guys, anything that you would like to say, because I am going to be clocking off soon. Yep, Nicola says my time is up. So my time must be up. Guys, so I hope that, um, Aisha said thank you so much and time is up, <laughs> thank you. So what I will say to you and what I will leave you with is in terms of staying focused, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are pure, meditate on those things. Be conscious and purposeful in focusing on those things that are good. Take your focus of everything that is negative going on around you, because I can assure you, your brain can cope with not hearing the latest on coronavirus. Yeah? Give you... <laughs> I need to, she's giving me another 10 minutes. 
So I, no, Anita, I, ha I have to go. So thanks, thank you, Kingsley. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this broadcast. If you have, please share the video. The bell icon, you can click on that so that when I come on live on my fan page, you will be able to hear. Evelyn, I'm so sorry you've just missed us. Catch us on the replay. God bless. Thank you very much. And I shall see you tomorrow for a little bit more of a spiritual life laughter and not lockdown. You never know. What's Win Winifred Cano? Thanks, sis. Continue to do what you do best and ignore negativity. I shall do exactly that, Winifred. Thank you so much and all the encouragement that you give. Tomorrow will be 20 minutes, actually, and it's going to be a little bit of a spiritual kind of life laughter and lockdown and you know I might be singing thanks for all you've done I am so blessed but you'll have to log on tomorrow and get more of that god bless you guys later